I'm gonna be reacting to this group named First Choice. Um, I think it's a group or a solo artist, you guys. I'm not quite sure, but let's get into it. Let's check it out. This group was definitely giving me like um, this group was definitely giving me like uh, Diana Ross and the Supremes like mid 1970s. Um, I think that was a I think this performance was around like the time where I think that the Supremes had broke up or they had been broke up or whatever. But this definitely was like giving me like the late 70s you know of what the supremes would have been like if they would have like stayed together i think this would have been like the transition that the supremes would have like eventually like you know went into or went towards you know had they stayed a group and stuff like that you know i feel like they would have probably you know went into the disco area too you know just like this group did um first choice so um i definitely enjoyed this performance from them you guys uh the one in the middle she definitely was reminding me of like a uh young patty labelle you know her voice was very strong and the notes that she was holding was very suitable and sustained uh the other two i liked that the harmony that they was giving i liked that the fact that all of them really matched you guys and that their hair was like you know instinct it was as one i definitely enjoyed this performance i definitely enjoyed that they loved singing with each other you know and um i don't really know much about this group you guys but i will say one thing soul train was like i feel like was kind of like one of the biggest uh platforms for like uh 
black people at the time you know of course other races too but mainly for black people where they were just you know able to showcase their talent i feel like uh soul train and uh the apollo was kind of like you know the two biggest you know uh platforms for like a black artist i would say other races too like i said you know where you was able to just showcase your talent and um even if it was performing in groups or anything, you were just able to showcase your talent. And it would never be reduplicated like that again. You know, we would never see another Soul Train. We would never see another Apollo or even so, or even if some of these shows is recreated or reduplicated, it wouldn't be the same as stuff from back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Like that stuff is classic classical like that stuff is classic it's priceless and i definitely enjoy just everybody in the crowd was just dancing and the style back then was just so unique you know rocking afros uh just the style you know uh big fluffy uh jeans you know all that was a a style back then you know funkiness and just everything you know was just so beautiful to see you know and it's like when i see history like this not just with my race but with just any other race that have appeared on soul train it just makes me feel like dang like they really had like a good time like you know in those three eras the, the 60s 70s 80s and stuff like that you know and um it's like wow but i definitely enjoyed this performance they killed it, you guys and with that being said make sure you follow me on my instagram make sure you like comment subscribe and share turn on my post notifications so you guys don't ever miss when i post and um they killed it we out peace